Hi everybody and welcome to today's video. Today uh, I'm doing a quick, uh, so just a comparison of a couple of pens, not comparing them but showing the similarities. We have the Wingsung 699 here and the Pilot Custom 823. Now I'm not going to compare the quality of these pens necessarily uh, because, well, one is a $30 Australian pen and one is a pen that can cost up to $450 Australian dollars. So they are very different uh, in terms of very different in their place within the market but I just wanted to go through the similarities because uh, you know a few people have sort of shown them but uh, this is my take so you can very clearly see the Wingsung 699 is modeled off the Pilot Custom 823 now the Pilot Custom 823 for me is one of the pens that I consider to be one of the perfect pens the size in the hand the weight in the hand the filling system the nib the way that nib writes is glorious so we are talking about pens here that are um, you know, uh, in a different different league in many many ways, but you can see by the basic design that these pen that this pen is modelled off the Pilot. So you can see there that the length of the pen is exactly the same, the width of the pen is exactly the same, the length of the cap is more or less exactly the same. The shape, the profile of the ends, the finial and the end cap of these pens are basically the same, and of course the filling system is exactly the same. These are vacuum filled pens. Uh, I can't show you how the system works on this, these pens because they're both filled with ink but I have here the Twisby VAC 700 just so I can show you the basics of how this system works. So what you have is you have a rod with a plunger sort of stop on the end there uh, and you untwist the end of the pen, that point there, untwist that, you pull that back and then you dip it in your ink and as you push it down Vacu a vacuum is created back here behind the plunger and then when you get to this point here where it flares out that vacuum is released and ink is drawn up into the barrel of the pen it's a really cool filling system it gives you a good ink capacity it's a bit of a pain to clean but it's a great system and both of these pens have that system. There are a few uh, new uh, Chinese pens with this vacuum filling system the Wingsung 3013 and the Pen BBS 456 great examples um, all at this lower price point, but you don't get the quality of nib and workmanship as you do with the Pilot Custom A23. So, let's just do a quick rundown of parts of this pen, show the similarities. So, at the top we get the cap there, same profile, same like little uh, on the cap where it secures there, you get like the flat, then the bulb, and the flat, flat, bulb, flat. Um, the clip has a, not exactly the similar profile, but you know, it's, it's very clearly modelled off just with a different sort of end there, not the ball. Uh, both have the branding on the logo. We get this at the same profile. Both pens are slightly translucent, although it's easier to see on the amber here from the uh, from the Wingsung. Uh, you get the center bands there, both in, branded with what the pen is: Wingsung 699, made in China on one, Pilot or Custom 823, and the stars Pilot made in Japan uh, on the other one. But you've got this sort of like little same sort of basic design. And instead of being a separate band there on the Pilot Custom 823 on the Wingsung, you just get these little cutouts uh, of the center band there. Both pens are all same barrel profile, same uh, basic you know, mechanism and design of the mechanism, and the end caps are basically the same as well. Both pens are screw cap pens. Um, and then if you remove the caps, see if we get slightly different here but really not much so you get the threads and then a little gold band the section on the wingsung is longer than the section on the pilot but that is because the nib is a slightly smaller nib and so when they line up you get the same length pen just with longer section or longer nib the nib on the wingsung is a steel and in this case it's a fine branded with the wingsung logo and all of that and of course the pilot is a uh, rather delicious 14 carat uh, fit size 15 broad nib uh, so and the pilot nib is just one of the greatest nibs I have in my collection I just think it's absolutely fabulous so these are the similarities with the pen just showing them in a bit of detail so you can see that you know this is very clearly a knockoff of well I won't say knockoff I will say in deeply deeply inspired by the pilot I'm not going to do a writing sample with the pilot you can see that on other uh, uh, reviews and videos on my channel but I'm just going to do a very quick writing sample here with the Wingsung. I have this inked with uh, uh, Dymine the 150th Blood Orange. So.
This is a steel fine nib. The ink, as I said, is diamine. One fiftieth blood orange. That's the from the nice sort of triangle uh, bottle. So, yes, it's a pretty smooth nib. It's actually quite nice to write with, particularly for a fine. Um, it's got a good filling system, you know. It's 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 a well-made pen. It doesn't have the same robust sort of feeling as the as the Pilot does, but you know it does the job. It would suffice, you know, for anyone wanting a decent sort of vacuum-filled fine nib in a nice sort of classy, classic-looking design pen. This is obviously a a good example of that. But when a pen is so closely modelled off something like the Pilot, which is my dream pen, one of my like absolute, you know, the we got the Pilot. Custom 823 with a nice broad nib. This pen. Uh, sorry, technical difficulties. That was just me not lining it up properly. Um, this pen writes so beautifully and it's got such a great feeling on the page. But you know, for a $30 pen, this pen's not really too bad at all. It's, it feels nice in the hand, but you know. I'm not going to say it, but that's what it is. Let's be honest. Anyway, this is the Wingsung 699, Pilot Custom 823. Very, very similar. Very different price point, but they are what they are. Hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I've produced. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at, at the underscore offstage underscore me. Uh, you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, get in touch or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel, uh, drop me a message and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, whatever end of the market they are on. Enjoy your writing. And I'll talk to you later.